If you need some good deep cleaning motivation to tackle that space that you've been needing to, you clicked on the right video. In today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning my whole house after having a really busy weekend, being sick, and having a lot of things happen. My house just was out of control. It needed to just get a good reset and deep clean. So if you need some good motivation, prop me up some more. Let's clean along together and get our houses clean because sometimes doing the deep cleaning task can feel lonely and overwhelming. So I hope I can be a good friend and you can have some good company to clean along with and you can get your spaces nice and clean. Let's go ahead and get started with our deep cleaning in today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't know what we have to do, but someone's gotta change. You got issues that makes you a fuss, but someone's gotta change. If we never ever met before, if it never opened up my door, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new. Hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy you're stopping by today's video. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Like I said in the intro, we just had a crazy week. I had been sick and a lot of stuff had happened. I'm going to get into all those details as we're going along, but I just needed to get my house deep cleaned. I had felt neglected. I know. Um, I bet if you guys know like if you're sick, you kind of just put the house on the back burner just trying to get better and I had done light cleaning throughout the week but nothing crazy. I was just trying to get better and be a good mom and watch my child as I was sick. So I just wanted to get the house nice and reset. We needed to get some dusting done, vacuum the couches, um, vacuum the carpet, sweep, mop clean the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. So if you're in need of motivation, you came to the right place. I hope I can give it to you. And let's go ahead and finish dusting and start vacuuming those couches and getting the living room clean. So I had said that it had been a pretty busy week and I feel like a lot of it was that I was sick, just not feeling my best, not feeling 100%. So my motivation was down a lot and I was just trying to survive and do the best I could. So um, with that, you're seeing this on Friday and I filmed this video this Monday before. So the last week, I guess, um, it was towards the end of the week, I started to feel better. Um, I was like, okay, I'm on the mend. This is good. My husband Trajan and my daughter Waverly were kind of getting sick, but they weren't too terrible. So I was like, okay, maybe they won't get it as bad or at least I'll be 100% by the time they're really getting sick and I can like be there for them. Um, so I was, it was Thursday night. We were trying to put Waverly down for bed and my husband was out working on his pickup and I started making dinner and we were having nachos. Um, I started cutting open an avocado and I went to get the pit out and the knife slipped and I totally cut my finger and it wasn't just like a oh like kind of cut it I cut it deep and I called my husband in and I was like I'm thinking this might need stitches we were kind of trying to decide and we ultimately decided it was a stitches situation 
so thursday night at like 10 30 i had to go get stitches on my finger this is the first time i've ever had to get like stitches for something like this when i was younger i was riding a bike and uh tore my eyebrow like above my eyebrow open but we just glued it and it was good to go but this was not a glue situation where my finger moved so much so Friday I spent the day resting and just trying to relax as much as I could because it did hurt quite a bit just because it was so fresh so once we kind of got that all like I started to feel better I was like okay this is good and there's so much that happened you're gonna see I was washing my comforter um and I got I'm just starting to get everything clean um so i'll let you kind of just like watch for a minute and then i'll continue on with my crazy busy story um but i just wanted to go ahead and get the kitchen clean and you're going to notice i got the island all clean and then i had to go pick up my dad this day um and so mid me cleaning the uh counter and everything I was like I'm not gonna have time to do the full kitchen before I have to leave I'm gonna go ahead and start making the bed and I threw in a lot of laundry and I started cleaning Waverly's room before I left and then I came back and finished the cleaning Okay, so I got all that stuff done and now I'm moving on into the kitchen. I was putting these dishes away first of all because my husband had done these dishes for me because I'm not supposed to full on like wash dishes because of the stitches. I'm not supposed to like let it soak in water or anything. So he went ahead and did those for me just so I can minimize how much I'm doing. He'll usually end up doing the dishes that need hand washed during the nighttime but during the day I end up just loading the dishwasher and all that just so that way our house isn't too messy but I went ahead and did that clean the counters and then I also wanted to deep clean the stove because it had just kind of needed it but going along with stuff that was happening we are all like getting better over the weekend trying to get better well Sunday morning my daughter woke up at 7 30 just not really feeling that good we thought that it was more like she had a cold so she woke up kind of started throwing up a little bit and it ended up just being a little bit more at first we thought it was like congestion so she ended up sick with a stomach bug all day she ended up puking over um, our comforter so I had to end up washing that and it didn't want to get washed through the laundry I mean through the washer so I had to go to the laundry mat and get that taken care of and it didn't fully dry there so I had to take it home for it to dry so just like odd and end things of this happening we were just trying to survive on sunday there was stains of puke everywhere we were like oh gosh 
and we didn't know if it was like she caught something or if it was like she ate something like found something off the floor that we didn't see or something and we just felt so bad for her she just felt so sick but she started feeling better in the afternoon and we were like okay good it's gonna be good so here we are monday when i'm cleaning and i was like okay we're feeling better i'm gonna get the house clean reset after us being sick and it's gonna be good got the house all clean and sunday not sunday monday evening um we kind of were starting to feel a little bit sick well me and my husband both woke up at 2 30 and then we got the stomach bug and we spent all of tuesday sick and just not feeling good luckily we are all starting to feel good and are healthy so that's all i can ask is that we're healthy and good because it sucks when it just is one thing after another but i'm glad that we're all healthy and we're starting to just get better but i'm finishing up the kitchen um before i do the dishes by just shining up the uh fridge and i just shined up the stove and microwave and then we're gonna go ahead and tackle the dishes and i had um to unload the dishwasher and load it this day
Okay, so I got the kitchen all tidied up and nice and clean besides the floors. So now I'm going ahead and just getting all of our shoes and putting them away. I usually like to keep my husband's slides and then a pair of my slippers, um, just so if we have to hurry and run out the door to throw something away or we're just going somewhere, we can just throw those on. Um, and then once I did that, I also wanted to move these candlesticks and our little shoe um, holder so that way I could just get the floors a really good clean. I wanted to take everything off so that way they could just get really thoroughly cleaned. I went ahead and shook the rug first and then vacuumed because I noticed that my vacuum doesn't pick up the rocks as good. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and run the vacuum and run the vacuum over the other two rugs that I have in the kitchen as well and then we'll go ahead and start sweeping and mopping those. So caught up with him I wanna lay in my bed Clean from all that's in my head No I wanna try something new Live another point of view We got the kitchen all nice and clean and swept them off. So now we're moving on into the bathroom. I wanted to give this a good little clean and just tidy up everything, wash the tub, the toilet, all of it, just getting it nice and good and fresh and new. And honestly, after us being sick on Tuesday, I'm kind of like, 
I almost need to redo all of my cleaning because I feel like after being sick, I just want to get all those germs out. So I'll probably do some extra cleaning this week too to just get that all taken care of. And I am wearing gloves today just to help protect my finger since I don't want to get the stitches like ruined and I don't want to get an infection. So I am wearing gloves as I am cleaning the bathroom today. I was honestly kind of surprised with how well we really did on this day normally especially like the bathroom like cleaning it um, I'll do like tidy ups with her awake like that isn't bad at all but like when I'm cleaning the tub and cleaning the toilet and stuff like that I usually wait until she's either down for a nap or asleep for the night because she ends up getting into everything we have open cabinets and so she'll end up trying to get into some of my makeup stuff or like she'll throw stuff into the toilet so I usually just try to avoid like being in here like cleaning and stuff like that because she does make a mess of stuff but this day she did really good she was wanting to help out she was going in and out playing and just honestly this whole day she was really good with cleaning because she was awake for most of it um because she didn't want to nap for very long but she did so good and i was so um, proud of her that she's starting to figure out like how she can just be by me and play but i can also get a few things done while she is awake so it is nice
the bathroom is all finished and nice and clean and it feels so good and the last thing that I'm doing today is just going ahead and putting everything back so the chairs I'm putting down I put away the candlesticks the shoe holder the rugs all of that we're just getting it nice and put back together so our house can be nice clean and refreshed time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd and that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys all so much for being here and watching today's video i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it if you did like today's video please give it a thumbs up that always helps my channel out so much also leave me a comment what you're doing during today's video where you were cleaning hanging out or what you're doing i hope you got tons of motivation from this video and you're able to now either get up and get something cleaned or you're able to clean along with me and have company while you did it and if you like this kind of video and if you like decorating homemaking all that kind of stuff i would love to have you subscribe and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, you guys. I really thought we had it covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, na na na. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are.